everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by so today I have a video using a brand new piece of craft equipment which I'm standing with right now it is the Cricut Explore Air 2 cutting machine and it's like works similar to a laser cutter but it uses like little knives and it does lots of different crafting things that you could think of like it is unreal if you've never heard of it then i definitely recommend looking at the cricut website which i will link below because the amount of things that you can make with this machine is just unreal like it's crazy so i've just been sent this machine so although i'm definitely a newbie i've practiced a couple of times before making this video and i think i'm at the stage where i can actually show you guys kind of how it works and also a project. So before I get started on the project and showing you a little bit more about Cricut, make sure to subscribe to my channel, check out my craft playlist and all of my other videos on there. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up and I will show you more about the Cricut and a little design that I'm gonna be doing. So first of all then, I just wanna show you the actual machine itself. I've got the lovely mint green color. This is the Cricut Explore Air 2, which is twice as fast as the previous model, which is amazing. And yeah, yeah, you just open it like this little open button and you get this machine which just looks wonderful so slick and then these little design components these little doors are where you can store your accessories I don't have any at the moment but I'm going to be getting some very soon and then you have the dial here which is what you would set your machine to depending on what fabric or what material you will be cutting so yeah, it's very, very self-explanatory, although when I first got it, I must admit it was a bit intimidating because I was like, what is this machine and what do I do with it? So I'm basically gonna try and show you guys how simple it actually is. A lot simpler than I, I thought before I got it, I must admit. Um, I was very daunted by the whole thing in general and I couldn't quite get my head around it, but it's honestly so, 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 so simple and worth every single penny that you will spend on this machine. They retail in most places for about 250 pounds. Um, as I'm about to show you, it basically creates whatever you can think of. It cuts fabric, it cuts wood, it cuts plastic, it cuts vinyl, it cuts stickers, it cuts everything. You can make anything with this. So yes, that's a little bit about the machine. And then you have your kind of plug-in at the back here. You can kind of see and that just goes into the mains and then to connect it to a computer which i'm going to show you you have a bluetooth function or you can use an adapter and plug it in that way but i use the bluetooth so yeah i'm gonna do a project with this beautiful machine and i will show you what i'm gonna make and now i'm going to show you a little introduction to the cricut design space so you will need to download this when you get your Cricut machine. And firstly, I'm gonna start a new project. So I'm just gonna click new project and this will open this kind of grid-like format here. Um, I'm already familiar with these kind of design, design programs because I use Photoshop and stuff. So it can look a bit intimidating at first. However, there's lots of tools that you can use. I'm gonna go ahead and use the text tool as I'm gonna be cutting out some text today for my DIY. So I've just typed in memories and then you can change the text there's lots of here that you can purchase or you can use text that are already built into your system so there's loads and loads to choose from I'm going to go for a text that I already own um, it's kind of like a nice scroll handwritten kind of looking text my font is called milkshake so I've just changed it to that and then you can play around with the size and and the spacing and things like that so it's really super easy to do Now that you've got your text in place and the size you want it, you need to choose a colour that is the same colour or similar to the material that you're cutting on. So as the material is silver, I'm putting it on a kind of greyish background. And here you'll see that it's on the setting cut, which makes sure it's got a kind of cutting border. Then it's time to make it. So you click the make it button and it'll take you through to this printer overview. It resembles a cutting mat, which shows you the kind of size of your text that you need to cut out the material. So when you go through, it will connect the Bluetooth to your printer, and then you need to select a material, the same material that you're using to cut. So I'm scrolling down to find the material, and this is a adhesive foil. So I choose adhesive foil and press okay, and then that's all set up and ready to go. 
So I'm using a standard grip mat and this is a self adhesive mat that you stick your material to that you're cutting and there's a few different variations depending on the material that you're cutting but because it's an adhesive foil then we can just use a standard mat. So I measure this out, obviously it showed the measurements on the computer on the Cricut Design Space so you know which to cut. So once you've cut your selection of paper or whatever material it is then you can just stick it onto the mat. material needs to sit flush like this on the mat and then it is time to feed the mat into the machine ready to cut it. So once you've pressed the little feed button on your computer you'll see it flashing on the machine. So you click it and it feeds in the mat ready to start cutting. Once it's ready the little C will start flashing and you press it and then the machine starts working and cutting your material. So as your machine is cutting, you'll also have a loading bar on your computer to show you the process of the cutting and how far along it is. So this is a super neat little function just to kind of bring it all together and show you how far you are in it to your cutting process. So here is a close up of the letters cut out onto the material. It's not perfect, so there's a few things that I would change but I'm really happy with it overall. And I'm going to measure my little box that I'm going to stick them on just to make sure that I start in a central point. Make sure to put the film back on your cutting mat to protect it. And then you can start peeling off the letters and sticking it onto your box, your table or whatever the thing is that you want to do. I'm making a little memory box today so it's really super cute and easy to do. And I know my crafts will continue to get better every time I use the machine. This is just the start of all of the things I can make. And here we go, here's a little flavour of what I've done. So I did the memories box and added some lovely little white details with a pen. And then I also made a Hello Little One scrapbook. And these were both my sister's baby shower. So just a couple of really simple ways to personalise things using your Cricut machine. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll be back with some more Cricut videos soon. Thanks for watching.